jobs, jobs, and jobs. Because there, there's other stuff that you know we we have sort of we can have a technical recovery where GDP is growing or you know industrial production is growing, but that's not going to matter for most people. For the last year, a lot more people have been being fired than being hired, and so you know the total number of jobs out there has been shrinking. We need to start adding. In the United States, we need to probably add more than a hundred thousand a month before you start to feel any relief. You know, we're still losing. What could hold up a rebound? First of all, the the financial system is not in great shape. The banks are still troubled. You know, they don't look like they're about to go bust, but they're not in good shape. They can't actually do a whole lot of lending. Um, I'm worried about oil. It's amazing that oil is sort of I don't know what it is right now, right? But it was seventy dollars a barrel with the economy, world economy, in a deep slump. That's telling you that we still have got a. We've got a lot of pressure on oil supplies, and if the world economy starts to come back, oil prices probably come up a lot, and that's a big break on recovery. For those working on a trading floor, how is the world of finance going to change for them? It's going to become simpler and more boring. That is, a, I think what's going to happen when, when all is said and done is there's going to be more regulation. Because everybody's now got real second thoughts about whether what's good for the trading floor is actually good for the economy, and so we're probably heading at least partway back towards the kind of system we had 30 years ago, which was much more regulated, much less exciting, much safer. But part of the job of a banker is to take risk. Well, it's not really the job of a banker. We used to think there were people who would, you know, speculate in stocks, and that was fine. But banking. Which was, you know, offering people liquid assets, offering people ready access to their cash, was only supposed to be invested in relatively safe things. And this idea that bankers should be, you know, borrowing trillions of dollars in the repo market and then investing it in securities that nobody understood—that's that's a relatively new development, and it almost destroyed the world. So there's an argument that says that you know we we had actually we need bankers to be a little bit less interesting than they've been lately. A lot of people these days are talking about a China recovery. What does that mean for your average person in Chicago or Berlin? Less than you might think, because although China is enormous and China is the economy of the future, it is not yet the economy of the present. China is still substantially smaller than the European Union or the United States. It's it's、uh, it's. Still, actually, doesn't have as much purchasing power on the world scene as Japan does, even now. And so, even though China is pushing along, they've had a much bigger stimulus than anybody else. It's not China isn't isn't a big enough player yet to be the world's locomotive.